Hi, I'm Paul, production expert. In this series of videos, we're going to be looking at how to record your first song in Universal Audio's Luna. Luna is Universal Audio's fully featured DAW, which they're calling their recording system. Now, Luna gives Apollo owners the fastest recording environment for music production, editing, and mixing. In addition to its seamless hardware software integration with Thunderbolt equipped Apollo and Arrow interfaces, Luna Recording System allows capturing audio through DSP powered UAD plugins with no discernible latency, as well as offering new accelerated real-time monitoring, which provides analog style tracking and overdubbing workflow using Apollo's onboard DSP acceleration. So what I'm gonna to do today is to go through the initial setup and the start of the recording of the song. When you start up Luna, you get this screen, and this is basically where we're gonna name the song and choose where the song is gonna be saved to our hard drive. Now I'm gonna name this song, It's You. Now let's choose a location. I'm gonna choose a folder that I've set up on my desktop and choose open. Now the next thing we can do before we even start the song is to choose the tempo. And we can do that by either typing in the tempo here or tapping, so let's try that. So as you can see, it's come up with 70.18. Now I know the song that I wanna record is actually 69 BPM. So I'm gonna type in 69 there and choose create. Now this is our main timeline display we get in Luna. And if you look over to the left hand side of the screen, we've got this create new tracks window that's opened up. Now I'm gonna record a guitar just to lay down the basic chord structure. So we can name that here and I'm gonna call it guitar. The format is mono as I'm gonna be plugging straight into the front of my Universal Audio Apollo interface. And let's choose okay. If you're used to the Universal Audio console software, which you would be if you own an Apollo interface, you'll see quite a familiar layout here. Now what I'm gonna do is to choose my input first, and I'm gonna go down and choose my high Z input, which is on my second Universal Audio Apollo interface. The next thing I'm gonna do is to put a guitar amp simulator in my Unison slot. So what we need to do is to arm the track, and that means now we can choose the plugin that's gonna go into that Unison slot. And I'm gonna choose the Marshall Plexi Classic, as this one comes with the Universal Audio interfaces. <laughs> One of the great features about Luna is the Unison slot. So now with the Unison slot here, if I have a plugin inserted, that sound gets immediately printed to the track as we record. Now, when I take it out of record, you'll see that the plugin has now been removed, which then frees up the DSP power. Now, if I put it back in record, it instantly loads that plugin again with the last settings you used for the last recording. Now, before we start recording, I'm just gonna clean up the amp a little bit, just so I get less drive. So what I'm gonna do is to bring it down to the second input, and bring back my volume. Right, let's bring back the treble, and let's turn up the bass and the middle, just a tad. And let's bring back the volume just a little bit more, just to clean it up. Right, to compensate, let's just turn up the output of that channel just so I can hear it a little bit louder. I'm Paul from Production Expert. I really hope you guys got something out of that. Join me in the next video where we're gonna be moving on with the recording of this song.